Hey everybody, Frank here, Godzilla Island for the Mazer Squad again with another Trend Masters unboxing. Uh, this is going to be the Trend Masters G Force figures from 1994. Let's pop this open and see what we got in here. So we have the black G Force member with his black suit. And our blue G Force member. Interesting packaging here. And the cards. And that's it. Here's some of the accessories. Let's get this plastic stuff out of here. Now, the G Force, um, what's interesting enough, they were made for this toy line. Uh, Power Rangers were getting really big at the time, so they were kind of made to be the uh, bootleg Power Rangers to fight Godzilla and the Kaiju in the Trend Masters series. Uh, what's interesting enough is the Trend Masters comic, which I have reviewed on the channel, doesn't feature these guys. Um, there's a black G-Force member, a red, uh, red G-Force member, the blue one, and the white one. There's four G-Force members. All of them have names. Let's check out the trading cards. One of the main reasons I picked this up is I really have been wanting to collect the Trend Masters trading cards because they all have really cool art. Um, and the problem is a lot of these G-Force figures, they don't have the cards included on them when you see them on eBay. And these two had the cards included uh, Godzilla for so. The blue G-Force Ranger is Michael Van Horn, Fleet Marksman, and the black G-Force member is Pete Richards, the Squadron Leader. Alright, so he's our leader, the black G-Force uh, Ranger, whatever you want to call him. Colonel Richards, you get a little bio on him. Two Purple Hearts, Medal of Honor, Medal of Valor, Medal of Honor, Silver Star, and you get all these cool little bios on the members. And then we have Michael Van Horn, arming himself with extraordinary strength due to an abnormally solid molecular structure. Interesting. Pretty cool cards. Uh, I always feel guilty uh, wanting to get the cards because I'm like, if I buy this figure, I'm gonna have to rip the thing open if it's new in box to get the card out. So I was really happy when I saw these two come up. Um, they're a little more expensive. The the red uh, ranger G Force member, whatever you want to call them, seems to be the more expensive one. Uh, but the white one, uh, she's readily available. It's the only female member. She's readily available throughout online, throughout uh, eBay, Mercari, and all those stores. Uh, you can probably pick her up for like ten bucks new in box. And here's some accessories. Let's get some silver boot covers. That looks like that goes with Pete Richards. That looks like that goes to the leader. Let's see how that works out. Interesting. Silver boots. Um, marksman. I assume he would have the... Uh-oh, we lost the... The rifle with the scope. Hmm. Not easy to get in. We also have the shield. I feel like that would go with his boots. Let's see if we can get that in his hand. All right, we got him the shield and it's got the black lines on it. So I assume that would go with him. Let's see. Let me see if I can find that helmet now. I'm bringing you guys down here a little. Here's the helmet. Let me try to get a gun in one of his hands here. Yeah, I would assume the shotgun would go with the guy with the shield because it's close quarters. That fits in there a little better. Not great, but the helmets are kind of big and clunky. And the guns don't fit 
quite well in the hands. Who knows, could be almost 20 years or 30 years of warping, but can't get that rifle in his hands. But yeah, that's the G-Force. I, like I said, I really wanted it for these cards. Uh, let me know what some of your favorite Trim Masters figures are. I have the final piece of the Trend Masters 40th Anniversary variant coming from my collection soon. So there will be a video of that up on the channel very soon as well. So uh, keep an eye out and thanks for watching everyone.